Cotton swab. Not menacing sounding words, are they? Not until this happens to your family. I told you, band practice. Oh, really? Is that why you left your French horn at home? Mom, you've been spying on me again. Kathy, what has gotten into you? Your friends don't call anymore. You lost your job at the Frosty Freeze. You spend all your time in this bathroom. <gasps> oh, my God, no. Oh, Kathy, you're using cotton swabs again. How could you do this to your father and me? You won't tell Dad, will you, Mom? I can't take this anymore. You're throwing your life away. Hey, check it out, sis. Long tip pharmaceuticals. Ma! Danny, you've got your brother hooked too? I'm holding it for a friend, Ma. Oh, Danny, listen to yourself. What's going on here? N nothing. It's, it's okay, Dad. What's Danny done now? Get off my back, Dad. Kathy's swabbing again, and so is Danny. Come here, boy. Let me see your ear. Ah! Not a speck of earwax. Where'd you get the cotton swabs? Boy, answer me! And you, Dad, got it from your medicine cabinet. This is your fault for bringing cotton swabs into our house. Damn you, cotton swabs! Good morning. I'm Dr. Philip Larson. There are three ways to spot swab abuse before it destroys another life. One, increased sensitivity in hearing. <laughs> Two, used cotton swabs left in the toilet. Three, the use of swab substitutes and earwax deposits left around the house. If you know someone who exhibits one or more of these symptoms, please do not ignore their silent cry for help. Call the Cotton Head Hotline at 1 500 555 SWAB.